Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. And we are gonna have a great shave today. Super excited. Haven't showered yet. Don't really care. Not the point of today's shave. We're gonna face lather with the uh, Reso Cero. I am burning through this pup, guys. And I know this is an awesome shave and I should bust out something really cool, but the razor's cool. And that's all that freaking matters. And the brush that I'm using with it is badass. So guys, it finally came in. I'm not going to go into a deep story about this, but this is a Drew Dick. Do y'all see his little stamp right up here? Uh, this was custom made for me. Damascus steel made out of a steel cable, I believe, is what he did it with. He calls it the scorpion tail. I was going to call it the hook. It doesn't matter. It's pretty cool. Have not used a cami in a very long time. Only did it like two or three times. And if you never saw that video of mine or you're new to the channel, this was a while ago I used it. And uh, my boy Polly Lather Me Whiskers. Actually, let me get the oil off this. Um, my boy Lather Me Whiskers fixed the geometry on the other one. I used it. We did a live head shave with it. And uh, maybe I didn't. he didn't do a head shave with it. But anyways, I sent it back to him because this was supposed to be coming in. So very excited, very cool. My only custom razor. Finally came in a year later. We'll get into that story in a minute. But we did tub load from this tiny, tiny tub. And we loaded for a good 30 seconds. Because the way I feel, um, heavy coconut laden uh, soaps can puff up really fast. And I find it hard to, uh, it doesn't go all the way through the shave. Like, my lathers start getting too thin. We're using the Pinecone Hybrid from Kent Designs. Nice little uh, silver tip I think he has in here. And I'm going to paint it in and get to going on it. Now, I love this brush for face lathering because I like the size of the handle. It's a bit on the small side. Nothing wrong with that. Just is. But the Pinecone Hybrid, beautiful brush. Takes a lot of effort and work from Zach over at Kent Designs slash Moon Soaps. He, uh, from what I understand, he kilns them to dry out the pine cones. And sometimes even after he does the blank and stuff, it just doesn't turn out right so sometimes he has to go through a few shots before he can get it where he wants it to be just in the pour not the uh not the actual turning and if i'm wrong and zach sees this i'm sure he'll comment below and tell me yo bro you're way off base but i think i'm right i think through here where you see all this awesome like woodiness he get it, it's like white and bubbly because there's like moisture left in it or something. I don't know. At least that's what I think I remember him saying. <coughs> Pardon the cough. Oh, Shavridge. Tito's vodka with pineapple and grapefruit juice and a splash of cranberry. Oh, yeah. So we're just getting this lather on. I just want it hydrated. I don't care how it looks today. I'm just excited to use the razor. So we know the lather works. We know this brush works. Brush works, huh? How many people name their stuff brush works? All right, I think we're good. I think we're good with this. We're gonna see how it goes. Fingers crossed on the Drew Dick. I've never tried Drew Dick's Edge. We're about to try Drew Dick's Edge for the first time. It came in with the box from John June. I think John wanted to surprise me with it. And he may have had it for a little while. His mother-in-law passed away and stuff, so things got took a little while. So, guys, I do have a lot of vintages that came in and JJ Shorties. Um, going to be supplying some of the JJ Shorties to the Razor Company. Uh, it's up to him how many, Jason, how many he wants to purchase, if he wants to purchase any at all. Um, no guarantees, just throwing that out there. I do know he has a couple on there still. Oh, that's nice. I honestly, that 
didn't have any doubt. Oh yeah. Nice hairs plinking off. Like three days without a shave. Widening up the angle a little more. Because this is quarter hollow, if I was to guess. I've always wondered what the big thing was on custom razors. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my core app, but my core app, guys, does not have an edge like this on it. And we're gonna go to the finger. Giving it a rinse. So I ordered this razor. Drew Dix made it. He sent it to my ex-wife's address, which is okay. He went off my PayPal address and I was still technically at that address when I ordered it. And It came back, it said it was delivered, someone signed for it, ex-wife said they never got it, they never signed for it. I'm like, really? She's like, yeah. Turns out the mailman signed for it. Nothing ever happened with it, never got contacted by the post office. Um, post office was not paying to replace that shit. They didn't give a fuck. Um, and Postman just signed away on it, knowing that I didn't live there anymore, still had a change of address, was still getting change of address stuff. Somehow that made it there and it got stolen. Supposedly every package on that street got stolen that day is what the post office said when I went down there to the local post office. Something smells fishy, but anyways, no money out of my pocket. Drew Dick made me another one. He did not have to do that, guys. He really didn't. No money out of my pocket. He sent it back to me, new one, even though my postman signed for my package and left it at the wrong address. Someone stole it. Drew Dick went above and beyond. He didn't have to do that for me, and I greatly appreciate it. So, guys, you're ever looking for a custom razor? Drew Dick's very good. Um, very professional, does a very good job. Arguably the best custom razor maker in the business right now. I said arguably. I don't want to argue about it. I throw arguably out there. So I don't have to make the statement that he's the best there is. He's arguably the best there is. Experience. God, that's so smooth. Like Drew? I mean, it's sharp, but man, that is smooth. Like, no issues taking down hairs, but that's like buttery. Ooh, we might left the memory line, came in a little too hot. Yeah, it did come in a little too hot. Got a little bit of a line. Still have ingrowns down here that I'm kind of scraping over, but we don't care. We shave anyways. Shave on. Shave on. Shave on! Now my left hand is my worst hand.
You know what, maybe I should close this door. That 70s show's going on in the other room. So. And it's slightly smiling. Well, not slightly, it is smiling. Just like I will be when I get through the shave and don't cut myself. Nice. My dexterity just sucks through there, man. Like just the way my hand moves just doesn't work so hard. So if I can dry this puppy down because we don't want to rust our Damascus, man. You do not want to rust your Damascus. It's not a good idea. All right, guys. We're going to rinse up and we'll be right back. All right, guys. We're back. So, put a little bit of moisture on the hands since I dried them off. We're going to go with the Codex Bia Beauty. Bia, Bia, B-I-A, however you want to say it. Rub it together. Put a nice little ball on. Just the way I chose to go today. We know I like an alcohol, but we're gonna use the balm and see how it does. Just on its lonesome. All right. This is the nifty little ebony sheath. And I don't know if that's acrylic or what for the wedges. That's the camisori goes and sits in there. Let me see if I can. I'm not gonna do it because camisori still may have water, guys. So, but anyways, it slides in there and that's its little sheath. Then you tie it up with a little twine. Pretty nifty. My scent of the day, guys. Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. So, my, uh, my daughter likes this scent. I like it. It's pretty sweet off the top. Still sweet on the dry down. Kind of a clean, fresh, but it's still got a lot of sweetness in there. My daughter was cuddling up. We were watching Moana. And she was laying, like, right here, and she went yummy and gave me a kiss on the cheek so you know the four-year-old girls they really loved it i'm gonna look at the drew dick again i love the drew dick look at this amazing i love this razor will be in my collection forever hopefully all right and badger kent designs beautiful brush guys beautiful brush love it also great scent um the other thing for people that know or care i was told this smells quite a bit like invictus aqua the 2016 formula they reformulated in 2018 that info is thanks to our boy magic mike so guys peeps ladies to everyone i hope you have a wonderful week and enjoy your sunday evening